Just cross to see of yours touches me so gently. The icy touch breaks across my body. These rays of sun beam and on my neck. I'm in a trance. The sky darkens and the clouds begin. Hello Virgo, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 13th of February until the 19th of February 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Four of Cups. You may be dissatisfied with the status quo. You may be feeling disengaged apathetic, or unmotivated. Life has become stale or flat and there is little that excites you anymore. To overcome this, the Four of Cups suggests a need to re-evaluate your situation and to look deep within your own psyche to find understanding and meaning. Turn your attention inward to find the truth for which you are searching. Avoid distractions and examine your heart and mind to gain clarity. The might be an offer has been presented to you but you are holding off making any sort of decision or evaluation of that opportunity until you have had more time for reflection and consideration. Notice that while the man in this card has not accepted the offer being presented to him, he has not completely rejected it either. The cup will continue to be there and the decision to accept or reject it can be made at any point. For now, though, it is the time for contemplation, research and meditation. When all of the answers are in, and it feels right emotionally, then you can take action but in the short term, you do not need to make an immediate choice. Similarly, the Four of Cups signifies disappointment in someone or in a situation. You may be growing tired of the same old struggle that has been carried on too long in the past. As a result, you have started to withdraw and go within yourself to seek greater peace and tranquility. If you are becoming particularly pouty or sulky about your predicament, the Four of Cups is then a call to action. It is time to wake up, be alert and to be open to new experiences that offer a more positive outcome. The Four of Cups can sometimes point to defensiveness. This can be noticed in the body language displayed in the crossed arms and legs of the man on the card. He chooses to ignore the possibility of what the cup has to offer. Possibly he has been hurt emotionally before, as this is the suit of cups, and he is fearful to expose himself to that again, hence he is closing himself off to this opportunity. Consider what opportunities you are ignoring or declining, and ask yourself whether this is because you truly believe you would not benefit from it, or whether this is because you are fearful of what may follow. Be mindful of any defensiveness in your responses and reactions. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Seven of Swords. What do you want most right now is doing something in secret. Hoping that you are safe and undiscovered, something goes awry and your secret is revealed to your embarrassment. This card therefore urges caution when attempting to use cunning or deception to gain an advantage over someone or something else. There is no question that there are times in life when it is necessary to act shrewdly or do something in secret. Perhaps you had to think on your feet and act in a way that was not exactly all above board. Perhaps you had to go behind other people's backs in order to manifest your desires. Perhaps you felt like you needed to cheat or take the easy way out. If acting shrewdly is something you must do, it is essential that you do this with a clear conscience and you are fully aware of the potential consequences of your actions. 
Taking the easy path is not always the best path, and sometimes you just have to exert a decent amount of effort to achieve what you want. You may be tempted to sneak away from a particular situation that is not working for you anymore, rather than dealing with it head on. As you do not feel ready to deal with the issues, you are aiming for a solution where you can just escape and not have to worry about it all. Are you trying to run away from commitment, responsibility, hard work or love? You may be procrastinating, letting problems slip and become worse because you do not want to deal with them. Sometimes you just have to face what has to be faced. So, the question is, is this realistic? Will this escape really accomplish what you want to and need to accomplish? Will it address the fundamental issues at hand here? The likely answer is no, and it may simply be an easy way out for now. On the flip side, you also need to be very cautious and wary so that you do not become a victim of someone else's deception, betrayal, cheating and false motives. You may trust someone who then turns out to be running their own agenda, leaving you high and dry. You need to be very careful of who you trust over these coming months as you are at risk of being taken advantage of. Look out for any sneaky behavior and trust your gut instincts about when something does not feel right or is too good to be true. Sometimes, the Seven of Swords indicates a desire to go it alone. You want to discover, investigate and solve every problem using only your own wits and resources. You may believe that you have a better chance at success if you act on your own accord, ignoring the advice or inputs of others. This approach is useful when you need to bypass an ineffectual group or assert your independence but it can also have its limitations. You may end up feeling isolated and excluded, missing that great feeling of collaboration and synergy gained when you work with others. If you feel inclined to act alone, be sure this isolation will really work for you. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Nine of Swords. You are afraid and worrying excessively about a situation. You are literally being kept up at night because you are so anxious about a particular issue. It is possible you are working yourself up unnecessarily and, if you were to look at the situation more objectively, you may come to realize that it is not as bad as you are making it out to be. In fact, all that worry and despair is what is making it worse, so rather than fretting about it, do something to change it. Although most people experience fear, frustration and uncertainty at some point in their lives, you should not allow those negative emotions to immobilize you or keep you from pursuing your goals with enthusiasm and hope. Expect at least some level of uncertainty in the future, and draw upon your inner strength to remain as flexible and adaptable to that uncertainty as possible. The Nine of Swords can also indicate that you are being incredibly hard on yourself, putting yourself down or engaging in negative self-talk. For every mistake you make, you blame yourself and become worked up and angry at yourself for messing up again. So, ask yourself why you are being so hard on yourself, how are you putting yourself down or what is the source of your depression? What can you do to make yourself feel better? The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the four of pentacles. You are very conservative about money and are not inclined to gamble in financial matters. You were very protective of what you have accumulated over time, and slowly and steadily you increased your net worth through saving money and safe investments. You were self-sufficient both financially and emotionally, as you often equate money with emotional security. This card also indicates possessiveness, greed and an overly cautious approach to life. You may be afraid to take risks, both financially and emotionally for fear of losing everything that you have attained so far. As a result, you may be vaguely unhappy and unfulfilled. 
deep down you are starting to realize that you have sold out for a conservative and overly safe approach to life. Thus, the Four of Pentacles indicates one of the dangers of prosperity, the temptation to value money far above its real worth. If wealth and financial success lead to a miserly or penny-pinching attitude, then you have found yourself in a narrow-minded state where nothing is perceived to have any significant value other than money. This attitude is an expression of extreme attachment to the material things of the world and is unhealthy in the long term. Sometimes, the Four of Pentacles can indicate an inflexible attitude that is resistant to change. You have already established a way of living that now works for you, so why change? Change appears to be a threat to your certainty, safety and security, and may place you at risk of losing all that is important to you. Any suggestion of doing things differently is therefore going to be met with resistance for fear of how it will impact your personal sense of security. Thus, you are more likely to favor tradition and tried and tested ways of doing things, rather than taking any risks at this point. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the page of wands. You are afraid that your new ventures or projects might not be successful. You may have had a vision to start a new hobby or project with the view that it would lead to bigger and better things but you soon realized that you had taken the wrong approach and it wasn't leading to the growth and development you had expected. You may have started to realize that you had not really focused enough on what your goals and objectives were and that is why you were not reaching the outcomes you wanted. Luckily, you had not progressed too far along and were able to easily retreat from those projects with limited impact. Sometimes, too, these setbacks can be helpful in testing out new territories and exploring what will and will not work for you. You may also find that your eagerness to start something new has been negatively impacted by complexities, obstacles and opposition, which has resulted in a lack of motivation and indecisiveness about your path forward. You may also be fearful of whether you can really get your project or idea up and running, or if you are just going to be weighed down by more responsibility and troubles. The Page of Wands can depict a person who is immature with a self-image problem, it could be someone who is mean-spirited and aggressive, or someone who is helpless and always a victim. This is someone who never has anything good to say, is always pessimistic, and always brings everyone down. This person undercuts your enthusiasm and your self-confidence. Often, this is a superficial, lazy and arrogant person, one who is unwilling to make an effort, and is uncooperative and impatient. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Six of Swords. You will need to make a regretful transition, as a likely result of the decisions you make. You know that in order to move forward, you must leave something important behind, and while you do this with some regret, you know that in the long term it is the best option for you. There are times when you will be forced to let go of something to which you have been attached, and the process of letting go is often quite challenging. However, the sadness of your loss will soon be replaced by greater clarity, bringing about a renewed acceptance of change. Do not be afraid to let go of whatever it is that is holding you in the present or the past. Instead look to your future and choose the best option that has the greatest long-term potential. There are going to be some hard decisions and some compromises that you will need to make but this is ultimately a rite of passage that will take you into a new phase of your life. You need to realize that you are now headed towards a much better position in life. You have endured, or are currently enduring, a difficult life transition but as a result, you will be more able to deal with what may come. Do not dwell on the past or what you have left behind. Instead, use this as an opportunity for changing your beliefs about yourself, 
moving away from whom you used to be and towards whom you really want to be. Sometimes the only way to solve life's problems is to leave them behind you and go somewhere new to start over. While it may feel as though you are giving up or being a coward, escape is often the only approach left when all others have failed. The important thing now is that you chart a new course that will lead to greater happiness and joy. The Six of Swords also shows the need to draw upon a state of mental clarity, logic and objectivity in order to examine where you have been and where you are going. This mental clarity will also serve to smooth the way ahead, and make the passage from negative to positive as peaceful as possible. You can use your intuition to guide you through easy situations and call upon your impartial and analytical nature when it is needed for a more complex decision. More literally, the Six of Swords can indicate a trip across water. There may be some sadness in terms of who you will need to leave behind you but you know that this trip will do you a world of good. An example might be someone who is about to travel on their own, leaving behind a partner who they will sorely miss. You may also be required to make a longer term move from one location to another, where you will leave behind friends and family in order to explore or experience a new territory. Again, while you will miss those you leave behind, you will also find that you have an amazing time on your travels and will learn so much about yourself. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. The romance angels have sent you this card like a valentine greeting, signaling the introduction of someone new into your love life. Perhaps you've recently met this person and your interest was piqued. This card validates that your connection was mutual and real. It is safe for you to explore it, and the romance angels will guide your actions accordingly. Of course, if you are already in a committed relationship, you'll want to consult your angels and perhaps a counselor or other trusted person to get insight into your feelings. While running into the arms of a suitor may sound passionate, the reality of guilt over the affair will soon weigh heavily upon you. It's better to confront the issues within your present relationship that left your emotional doors open for someone else. This card can also mean that you'll soon meet a new person. In these cases, the romance angels are asking you to keep the faith that love is in your cards. You deserve love, and you're lovable. The angels guide you to be aware, as you never know when your partner will arrive. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading, just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.